Hey Virgo, it's Tanisha from Tanisha's Tarot. I'm here to do a little reading for you for May 2019. I'm going to be focusing on relationship stuff and I'm going to do three little cards and then a bunch of clarifiers to get a deeper understanding of the message the Tarot is giving me this month. So, ooh, look at you, you're lucky you got four cards that came out. Okie dokie. So we've got some kings in here. And the Hierophant. And Seven of Swords. Okay, okay. So let's start with this King of Wands. The King of Wands is telling me that um, either you or the person that you're interested in is, um, is a pretty strong and stable person. This can also suggest a fire sign that you might be interested in. But, um, yeah, I'm seeing this as somebody that you're looking at that you would, uh, are in a space of admiration about because the actions that they take and the way that they rule their world is something that you aspire to. Um, when I have a look at the next card that comes out, this is the sneaky card, but it's telling up this right... Up this way, it's telling me, like, upright, this is the, I'm sneaking away. I'm kind of taking my words and I'm not using them. I'm sneaking away. Up this way, it's telling me that you are not sneaking away. You're not sneaking away at all. There might be a part of you that feels like you want to. But, um, yeah, you're not doing anything underhanded here. Uh, I don't know why that's come up. We're going to see with the clarifiers. But that's right in the midst of things. There's this, like element of wanting to sneak away but not. Uh, I don't know if you're intimidated by this person that you like or that you're dealing with. Okay, so the Hierophant, this is about traditional uh, interactions. The Hierophant represents um, major institutions like the church and, um, and you know, can signify... Uh, you know, traditional relationships or marriage. Um, but in this respect, I think it's talking about, like, traditional values and, um, you know, you're not wanting anything unorthodox. You're just wanting things to be kind of all above board because it's following the Seven of Swords of not doing anything sneaky. So this is telling me everything's above board. You're playing by the book, which is good. Now the King of Cups has come in in reverse and the King of Cups, in the way that this is all um, situated, you can see that the King of Cups is looking at the King of Wands, but the King of Wands is looking away. You can see, he's looking, but he's looking away. So um, this is telling me that there's an individual who is emotionally unstable and who is not what they seem. So as each card relates to the next and the story unfolds, what I see here is perhaps that you had an idea of somebody who you thought was like this. And by not sneaking away and by playing by the book and keeping things above board, you actually revealed that they were like that. Because you can be misled, you know, some people have a really good exterior and they can, do, you know, shop talk, they can put on a good show to sort of sell themselves as something that they are not. And by maintaining inner integrity and, you know, going by the book and doing things in an orthodox manner, you can, and not sneaking away, you can reveal who someone is. Now, nobody's perfect. Everybody has both flip sides. This person may have this duality. You know, you may be dealing with like a Gemini or someone who had these two sides. But in this reading, what it's telling me is that you're seeing this side at the start of May. And by the end of May, you're seeing that side. So emotional instability and action, you know, action Jackson. Who knows what he's doing? This may be the work side of somebody and then this may be their home life, you know. This may be them when they're single and this may be them when they're in love. 
So this may be you when you're single. And then this may be you when you're in love. So these two middle cards are saying don't sneak anything, don't cut any corners, play by the book. Okay, let's I'm dying to see what, what the underneath of this message is because yeah there's this is um got two sides. Okay. Clarification for the King of Wands for the Virgo reading in May 2019, please. Okay, two. Alright, so the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups. So the Six of Swords is about somebody moving away or somebody, um, you know, packing their boat up with their swords, which is their truth, and uh, traveling or moving on from something. Um, the Four of Cups is somebody who's not taking an offer or not seeing what's in front of them. Yeah, so this King of Wands may be on their own journey and may not even see what's in front of them. Okay, so this is now suggesting to me that there is an element of aloofness with this King. And so sometimes when people are um, aloof, you know, they just kind of don't seem like they don't care. It can seem like they're really strong. And so that may then become a challenge to you to kind of like uncover, you know, who is this aloof person and why aren't they paying attention to me sort of thing. And this is really a lot about not paying attention, being on a journey that's on their own trip. Um, and this may have kind of presented to you as this sort of figure, which you're then taking as a challenge, you know, like I'll crack that nut. I can come in and uh, get this guy's attention and so yeah I'm really feeling like that's that was kind of what's attracted you to them or maybe what's attracted someone to you but I am feeling like this is somebody yeah actually maybe that is somebody that you maybe that's what you've presented to somebody so um, yeah, alright, let's see what, whoa, okay, these are just dying to come out and tell me the rest of the story. Okay, so the High Priestess and the Five of Chalices, so the Five of Chalices in reverse is acceptance of the past and acceptance of what you have going on, and the High Priestess is about, um, you know, balanced feminine energy and, um, union with your soul and the higher powers you know the the spiritual side of things so these were clarifiers for the seven of swords so you're not sneaking away because you're sitting in a space of acceptance about where you're at and you are trying to work on yourself so as you're doing that you're finding that there is um there is a vulnerability to your um current state and that's what's creating this um not sneaking away energy you're you're sick of of um you know you, you don't want that energy being your energy you're actually like it's through this alignment with your um spirit that you're actually realizing that you know those the hidden connections of life mean that you can sneak away for a moment but you can never sneak away from yourself so that's why you're in this space of acceptance and you're accepting that duality about yourself so yeah this may well have been you being this stoic figure and somebody seeing you as a stoic figure and you were sort of on your own course and it's you that were aloof to the offers of love that were being sent to you and yeah it's because you've been working very hard on inner work on soul work within yourself okay let's see what the Hierophant says the Hierophant clarification for Virgo May 2019 Ah, oh, the world. 
okay so yeah the um by sticking the path and maintaining that you know see the spirit work of the high priestess now in relation to the the hierophant as well it's like this soul work goes beyond just the dealings of orthodox behaviors or relationships and stuff this is like um you know it's maybe religious practice and with the world as a clarifier it's like um yeah this is like your astral connection to um the interconnectedness of life and the world itself so um yeah this this is this is now suggesting to me that you were this figure you were the king somebody's been watching you and seeing you as quite aloof and strong and stoic and it's because you've been in yourself doing this inner work and then it's been like something that has been kind of out of this world um, and it makes it so that you are very above board with your dealings and everything and so you um, yeah you're appearing otherworldly at the moment all right, how fascinating. The King of Cups. What's the clarification for Virgo May 2019? King of Cups, the Emperor. All right, so the Emperor in reverse is telling me that, yeah, there is... So the Emperor upright, he's very strong and he's very... Um, sure of where he's at and what he's doing in reverse this talks about uncertainty um this talks about not not knowing which way to go and and not having that assuredness and as a clarifier for the king of cups this is telling me that um this individual whether it's you or someone else because it this the the cards can always go two ways. So this can be telling me about you, or this can be telling me about the person that you're trying to tune into. And so either way, this whether it's you or the person you're tuning into, this shows me that there is imbalance in them. They're not sure which way to go. They aren't ready to actually be sure of themselves and able to offer secure love yet. And the whole story here tells me that it's because they're doing this inner work. Now, patience could mean that you end up getting, you, you, you may be able to align with this person. This is just for the month of May. So you may end up being able to align with this person. But in this month, whoever this figure was, this person of interest, whether it's you or whether it's somebody you're interested in, they are doing inner work. They are fighting their own demons and realigning with themselves, which is healthy. You want your partner or you want your prospective person to have done this work. Um, and it is. It's, a, it's bigger than you. So they can't focus on you. There's emotional unrest and there's uncertainty because they're still in a space of developing themselves. The world is turning and they're turning with it and they need to actually do this work. Otherwise, this is all they have to offer right now is instability. And that's not what you want. And that's not what they want to give you either. They want to give you more of that. This reading could also be that you are this and that you're mistakenly you know, aligning with that and that's not going to work. So either way, whether it's this person that turns into that person, that person's revealed as that person, these two people are at opposite ends of the spectrum. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody with their with their decisions in May and um, thank you for watching, sharing and liking my video. And if you want to keep up for next month, just click subscribe. And if you would like a personal, more in-depth reading, please use the email address below. Alrighty, thank you Virgos.